everybody welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna to be showing you guys this fall makeup tutorial that I'm absolutely in love with and I want to give a big shout out and thank you to Elevate Cosmetics for partnering with me on this video I am so pumped to show you guys the products let me just give you a little sneak peek of what I'm gonna be using they gave me this cute little bag like, look at this packaging. It's so cute. It has the Elevate XO and a little kiss on it. And I'm going to be using this lip dye of theirs that I absolutely adore. Like, look at this beautiful wine color. I'll talk about it more in the video, but you guys are going to love this. The next thing that I used is the Lip Love Lip Treatment that smells amazing. Like, I don't even have to lift the lid to smell it. But I wish you guys could smell it. I'm obsessed. It literally smells so good. The next thing that they sent me is their Jet Setter Makeup Finishing Spray. And this is so light, it sets my makeup perfectly and it makes for a really nice matte finish. But I don't know guys, this, I don't know what magic they're putting in their products, but I absolutely love them. Another really great thing I love about Elevate is that they are local, so they're here in Austin. And the best part is if you're not in Austin, you can order their stuff online. Their packaging is so cute, everyone there is so sweet, and you are certain to find something that you love. I promise you that. All their products are cruelty-free and natural. Yeah, guys, these products are amazing, and I can't wait to show you guys how I got this fall look. And I know we're well into fall, but honestly, the weather here in Texas is just starting to feel like fall, so I felt like there's no better time to show you than now how to look like fall's really here. So that's enough of me rambling on. I am so excited for you guys to see this look, so without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do for our fall makeup look is foundation. I'm looking at the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover, and that is in the shade 310 classic tan and then I'm also combining it with the Maybelline fit me matte poreless foundation for normal to oily skin and this is in the shade 340 cappuccino and so I'm just going to tap a bit of that onto oh my gosh that's flowing okay and I'm just gonna take my beauty blender which has been very well loved as you guys can see but I'm gonna take this and just mix it on the back of my hand like so I like to start in little circles on the bottom of my face first. So we are blending, ooh, blendy, blendy, blend. So another tip that I have for foundation is make sure that you're blending not just on your face, but under your chin and a little on your neck so that it looks like your face is blended with the rest of your body's skin tone. Now we've done our face, the next thing that I like to do is my concealer. This is so much better. Why didn't I put my hair up before? Put your hair up so you don't get foundation and other makeup products in your hair, please. That's step number one. We should have started off with that. Now I'm gonna be using the CoverGirl Clean Invisible Concealer in the shade Honey. So if you wanna not have like an awkward, if you guys can see this like awkward gap in between where my concealer is and the actual um, part where my under eye ends, Tilt your head down and it creates fewer creases and less tension under your eye. And you can use this applicator and get a little closer just so you can have a fully concealed under eye. Well, hello. That's quite a look if I do say so myself. So this is the fall look, everybody. Thank you for watching. I'm also gonna go ahead and put concealer right here and then we're also going to go ahead and put some right here on my chin. It kind of looks like a flower. Honestly, when people say makeup is art, they're not kidding. I mean, look at this. Guys, look at... Look at me! This is... Like, that's a flower on my chin. That is a flower on my chin. Amazing. Amazing. It's a concept. While we are waiting on my concealer to kind of settle into my face and marinate, <laughs> we are going to work on the brows. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna brush out our eyebrows. So I am using the Sonia Kashuk Limited Edition brushes and I'm using the spoolie brush. So we're taking the spoolie and we are just going to brush out our brows. Now, instead of filling them in, I'm gonna go ahead and blend in my 
um, concealer just because once it's blended in I'm gonna want to set it before I actually do my brows because I don't want the loose powder to kind of go into my eyebrows and change the color and distort that and obviously we don't want to look streaky and cakey so I like to use the foundation um, sponge and we're just gonna start from the corner and then with the um, concealer on our nose we're just gonna blend downward and then up and into our foreheads and I'm gonna be using the fit me matte poreless loose powder in the shade toffee caramel 330 we're just gonna set our makeup make sure that foundation is not going anywhere no ma'am so now we have brushed out our eyebrows we framed our face so we are going to go ahead and fill these babies in for my eyebrows i'm gonna be honest with you guys but a powder palette that matches your brows works just as fine. So let's go ahead and fill in these bad boys. Hey, would you look at that? Lighting is all better. The brows are basically done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean these up and just make them as clean and sharp as possible. We have highlighted under our eyes. And I'm really liking how this highlight looks. I'm gonna blend it just a bit more. I feel like we lost a little of that really pretty glow that we had this one is like on x games mode look at her go look at her glow using my sephora palette that i've literally had since i think the eighth grade let me show you guys this is what we're working with you can basically find similar colors to these in any palette that you have I'm using this palette so that you guys are able to kind of make this look your own with anything that you do have so we are gonna start with this flat brush, this flat eyeshadow brush from Sonia Kashuk. This color right here, we're gonna start with this red going into our upper lid, the crease into the lid, because we're gonna be doing some layering and some blending and it's gonna look great, I promise. Just trust me, guys, just trust me. Trust me, it's gonna be fine. We are gonna go ahead and just start working that into our crease. So when I feel like a color is way too pigmented or way too strong, I take a fluffy brush and I just blend at it because that red is very strong, but I still love the shade of it. And this brush, by the way, is um, the e.l.f. angled blending brush. So now our lid is covered in red and remember, work that into your crease right here. That's where we want that red concentrated. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the same flat brush here, and this time we're gonna go ahead and get into this pretty orange right here. We're gonna take this, and we are gonna just work on our lid, like just our lid right here. I know it looks insane right now, but I promise you, She's gonna look so good. She's gonna look so good. So what we're gonna do next, now that we've put the two colors in, is we're gonna take this brush and we are just gonna blend these two right here between my lid and my crease. But not too much because we've got some more work coming. We've got some more work to do. So for this next part, we're not gonna be using the Sephora kit. We're actually gonna be using my Naked Urban Decay palette. Instead of the brush given, we're gonna use this flat brush just because I kinda like what, um, this one better for the application I'm gonna do. So we're gonna be using a bit of Half Baked. So right here, the base of our lid is where we're gonna be using this to just brighten up our eyes. This is the um, Definition Brush by Sonia Kashuk from the limited edition that I was telling you guys about. We're gonna go back to the Sephora palette. So we're gonna take this one and then we're gonna blend it a bit with this dark brown right here. And we're gonna start on the outside of our eye, inwards and upwards. Take that angle brush I was telling you about no makeup on it, and we're just gonna use this to blend out what we've done so that it doesn't look as abrupt. Now we're gonna do it on the other side. Hey-oh! We're gonna take this 
blending brush and we are going to mix everything together from the out in. We are gonna take this same brush that we were using for the blending, the longer, thinner brush, and we are going to add some color underneath our eyes. We're gonna mix this color, this pink right here, with a touch of this orange, and then we're gonna go underneath our eyes. And now we're gonna take this same color that we were putting in our crease, these two, take these two and mix them together, and we're gonna put them on the outer corner of our eye. Now it is time for us to do the liner. And now I wanna do a winged liner just for a little added drama. We did it on my one eye. Now we gotta do it on the other one. So now we've done our liner. I am wanting to do lashes. How does that sound? This mascara, the Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal is honestly one of my favorite mascaras that I have. And you don't even need to do like four coats of this mascara. I like having thick lashes, never cakey. I like thick lashes, long lashes, not cakey. And this does not cake on. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna have our top lashes and our bottom lashes covered in Lash Paradise. All right, so now my lashes are complete. Let me see if I can focus in on them for you. For this look, I'm gonna be using this Eleve Lip Love Lip Treatment, which is basically just going to prime my lips and keep them hydrated and moisturized. For our lip color for fall, I'm gonna be using this Lip Dye by Eleve. It's in the color Taos. The best thing about the Eleve Lip Dye is that it's not got a thick consistency. It's light and airy just tints your lips and you can apply it once for a lighter color or you can apply it a couple of times to darken your look. So let's put this on. Let's see. Oh, if you don't want it to be too pigmented and too concentrated, just use one coat or maybe even two. But for this look, I wanna use a couple of more just because I want my lips to look darker. Literally, as I'm putting this on, it's drying so beautifully. I don't feel like I'm caking on my lipstick or my lip gloss. My lips feel cool and hydrated. Like This is the product, everybody. This is the product of the fall. Oh, guys. This color. I am obsessed obsessed the best part is i put the lip treatment on beforehand and i feel like hydrated my lips don't feel dry the thing with with dyes and liquid lip products is that when it dries you can feel as if it's stiffening your lips i don't feel like this i almost feel like i'm wearing nothing let's finish the tutorial because i could sit here and talk about Eleve all day now we're going to contour and so i have a couple of these brushes that I showed you that we were blending my eyes out with. We're gonna take this angled blending brush, this e.l.f. contour palette. I'm gonna look silly, but sucking in and see where the lines are. Here we go. And then we're just gonna put a little bit on our forehead and warm that up. We're gonna take this fan brush and we are just going to, let me show you guys what I'm doing. Oh, ah! <laughs> I just spilled highlight all over me. Ah! Okay, this is broken. This like broke. I still, I still have to highlight though, I still have to glow. So we're just gonna keep going. I'm gonna put the highlight on the fan brush the top of it and a little bit of the side. Find my angle and we are just gonna take it home. And now the other side, the other side, other side, I want you to see, oh. Like this video if you are upset that they removed Hannah Montana from Netflix because that was my happy place and they ruined it for me. I'm not bitter at all. I'm really not. Like, I'm not. I'm just not. Like, I'm. 
I'm not. It's fine. Like, why? I just want to, I mean, <laughs> I'm not bitter, but here's the deal. I just want to know why they thought it'd be a good idea to remove the best show on Disney Channel. And then they removed Friday Night Lights. And didn't they remove, um, was it One Tree Hill or The O.C.? I just, all the good shows. Wow. She's glowing. She's really glowing. She went there, she did that, and she's glowing. Wow. 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 Take some and highlight the bridge of our nose. Last but not least, we have our blush. And so now I'm taking this blush brush by e.l.f. Going back to the Sephora palette, I'm gonna be using a mix of this warm rose color and this light pink color. I'm loving this so much. Okay, guys, that's it, but you can't finish your makeup without some Jet Setter Spray. That's this cute little bottle right here from Elevé Cosmetics. You just spray it on and your makeup look is finished. Just spray that on. And trust me, your makeup is not going anywhere. This stuff, this stuff rocks. And it smells so good. All their products smell so good. They're natural, they last long, they're good for your skin, good for the environment. Eleve can do no wrong, I'm telling you. But now that I'm off my soapbox, so guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you again to Eleve for partnering with me on this fall makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely check out Eleve and all their products. I'll link all their socials and their website down below. Remember to follow me on Instagram, check out my blog and see what else is new on my Instagram and you can follow along behind the scenes of my life. And that's it. Happy fall. I love you all and have a great blessed day or night. Bye.